All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to render 3D graphics in a React Native app using 3.js. So before we move on to the official coding part, make sure that you have installed Create React Native App, this package, as well as the Expo CLI package, which uh, over here, yeah. So go ahead and do that. So once you're done with the installation of these two dependencies, create React Native App and uh, Expo CLI, let's go ahead and create a React Native App. And I'm just going to call it React Native 3D App. And then just give these flags. Uh, so this is making sure that I'm installing via NPM and not via yarn. So go ahead and run this command. All right, how would you like to start default new app? So click on default new app and then it gets installed and you know, the whole React Native app just, um, you know, it just gets created with all the required files and everything. All right, so as you can see, now it's done and uh, your project is ready as it says over here. So now if I go over to, you know, just open React Native 3D app. 3D app, all right. And then just, uh, you know, you just open this folder in your code, uh, Visual Studio code. So I'm just gonna do it with my, uh, with this command called code dot and then it just opens up in your visual studio code all right so we have react native 3d app project in open in visual studio code so now what i'm going to do is just go to um, go to app.js and let's see everything is fine go to terminal and new terminal all right so i think you're done with the uh, configuration steps and now a few more things that you need to install uh, in your app and that will go inside your package.json over here and just open terminal and go to you know uh, just run this command npm install uh, save 3 and then this will install 3 3.js over here All right, and now install Expo 3. Oh yeah. Uh, <coughs> All right, so I forgot to add the save flag, but uh, you can go ahead and do that. It, it won't really matter much in our app because it's not a you know production ready app. So it's, it's not much of an issue. All right. So once that's done, now you want to go ahead and expo, install, expo GL. So while expo GL gets installed in the background, I just wanted to show you what it does exactly. And let's, let's go to, um, that's the home yeah there's the home page so yeah expo gl provides a view that acts as an open gl es render target useful for rendering 2d and 3d graphics so what it really means is that it basically lets you do uh you know 3d stuff in uh, react native and you'll be able to render all these 3d graphics so in this video we are just going to render a cube or probably a sphere and uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, that's that's what we are going to use. Anyway, let's uh, go back to our project. Okay, so uh, we have successfully installed Expo GL. And now we have all the dependencies added over here. Let's see, uh, you have Expo, Expo 3, uh, we have 3.js and Expo GL as well. All right now we move to the coding part right now i am in my app.js file 
and uh, what I'm going to do is just delete all of it and let's start from scratch so first things first we are going to import react from react import view from react native okay then we are going to import expo from expo we will need scene uh, what else will we need scene and um, I think mesh mesh basic material uh, what else what else what else ah, perspective camera yes <coughs> Um, three yeah all right so these so all these are uh, you know inside 3.js so we're just importing those uh, from 3.js and now let's import expo 3 from expo 3 and render all right another few things uh, expo webgl rendering context yes and this is a very important gl view this is a very important one so make sure you are uh, getting that okay so we have everything ready and uh, now i'm just going to make a functional component okay and uh, export default app okay done and now return oops return we'll have a view <coughs> and now inside this we'll have gl view and not that way uh, yeah all right and now we are going to create one uh, function called on context create okay all right so let's create this now and how I'm going to do that is over here Const on context create is equal to async GL all right so our basic skeleton is done this is how we are going to you know uh, create any 3.js app inside react native and uh, over here we are going to write three our all our 3 dot js code so all our 3 dot js code goes over here so let's begin with uh, uh, getting a scene first const scene is equal to new scene okay and then const camera is equal to new perspective camera which will have these values 75 and geo dot drawing buffer width by gl dot drawing buffer height 0 0.1 1000 okay and then we're going to have geo dot canvas is equal to width gl dot drawing buffer uh, width and then height whoops height gl dot drawing buffer height yeah and then we are going to have a renderer pass in gl then we set the size of the renderer 
to be equal to uh, the drawing buffer width and the buffer height yeah okay once that's done uh, over here we are going to create a render function and we are just going to call render again and again inside of render uh, inside render function we have request animation frame render and then render <coughs> dot render scene and camera okay, now uh, gl dot end frame exp there you go okay so so all is done all done right and now we can just uh, get the cube so let's get the cube let's define the geometry first and buffer geometry size and const material new mesh basic material color will be blue and then const cube is equal to new mesh geometry and material okay so that's done and we are just going to add the cube to the scene. All right. Okay, so that's it. And yeah, now you'll be able to see the cube in your phone. So now we want to rotate the cube because um, you know when when you're launching the app, uh, the cube remains still if we do not rotate or there's something and you'll not be able to you know view it from all angles and i want to view it from all angles so i'm just going to rotate it and the way i'm going to do is uh you know cube dot rotation dot x plus equals 0 0.01 i'm also going to rotate it in the uh, around around the y axis yeah okay so we are done with the code all right so another thing that i forgot to mention over here is that you have to do camera dot position dot z is equal to two because uh, you want the camera to be facing uh, towards like the camera's position should be a little away from the cube and not at the center of the cube so that is why i am uh, you know shifting it towards the z axis positive z axis uh, that means towards the user all right that's it and we also need to set the height and width of gl view so let's go ahead and do that uh, let's say 500 and 500 we can obviously you know change this all the time so for now this should work let's go to terminal and let's type expo start and now you can just use your phone and scan this so that's what I'm going to do alright so now you can see the cube floating in my phone there you go you basically rendered a 3d cube in your phone using react native and 3.js so hopefully this video was useful if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and for me to continue making such content please hit the subscribe button if you have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments below thanks for watching this video bye bye